Firstly, hi Arslan, welcome to Center Beat. Congratulations. Uh, my hero for now. People are loving it. Uh, so, what okay. do you have to say about the praises that you are getting? Uh, I'm liking it. Of course, uh, it's it's very nice to hear people say things. Um, I mean, rather appreciate your work. So it feels good. Um, it's not really sunk into me because I don't know how to react to this. But uh, yeah, lots of lot of appreciation, a lot of memes. So it's good. I'm enjoying it. All right. And talking about your chemistry and you working with Patralekha and Parth, how was it? It was great. Yeah, with Parth, it was great to work with Parth because uh, see, I had more scenes with Parth. Like actually, I had most of my scenes with Parth. I had very few scenes with Parth. I think two or three scenes and two three phone calls. But it was good working with both of them because they both are very, um, very, you know, they know their job. They're they're good actors. <laughs> Pars is also a very good actor. You know, he he comes with no inhibitions on the set and always wants to do things which are, you know, which can be done at the spur of the moment. Uh, so it was good fun working with them. All right, and apart from that. Talking about the compliment which you have received, the best ones like which is close to your heart, like any family member or close friend, any like best compliment if you can share. So my sister told me that uh, first time that she saw me and she thought that it was not me and it was somebody else, and which was like a compliment to me. And um, yeah, and I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of uh, La Lady Jan by a lot of people, you know, calling me La Lady Jan. So that's that's a good one. That feels nice. Okay, talking about your character Lala, how easy or difficult is it was, you know, to get those nineties accent? And talking about the See, preparation of yeah, for, yeah. For me, I was only I was only concerned about getting the dialect right, like the tone of the character right, because um, honestly, um, um, how those people really were is not uh, what. We really wanted to get into because this was more of a caricatured way of doing things, and you're trying to make it as filmy as they say. Uh, but we had a, um, but yeah, I wanted to get my dialect right, so it took me a lot of time to talk the way these people talk, and you know, uh, have that conversation skill that they used to have. So that was that was uh, important. That I worked on pretty much quite a bit. Otherwise, it was more of sensational and more of uh, acting cool, and you know, <laughs> trying to give that uh, swing to the entire thing. But otherwise, this the language I was very concerned about. Okay, so any specific word like you liked it, or you have used it in your real life, like after you know playing certain character. So, is there any like keyword? As in, I didn't get it. Like, if if I have used any word after the show, <laughs> a lot of words I've used after the show that I've used in the show that I cannot say here. But probably they will say, "Ha, my little bit language is like that." You know, like uh, I used to get little um, little uh, tapori type when I used to talk for some time. But then I got back into my thing. No such phrase because most of the there's a lot of abusing in the show. Which is that? But um, no such hundred percent phrase. Okay, so what is the takeaway from Lala? Like you have taken one. No takeaway from Lala. He was uh, he was a he was a character who was nothing like I am. Very eccentric, very mad, very over the top. And there's nothing that I could really take away from him because um, nobody should take anything away from him. <laughs> Right. He was just an obnoxious human being, <laughs> and uh, the only thing you should take away from him that that if you do bad, the end is bad. Correct. And uh, people are loving it. So now, what next after my hero goes down? Now, when can we see? I'm doing next? another show which I cannot talk about, so I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. okay, so talking Which about OTT platforms, yes. Uh, currently, we are seeing during this pandemic, OTT has. Even the boost basically not now movies are even releasing on OTT. So what is your take? What do you have to say about this OTT platform? I think it is a great 
platform for new talent for people who um, do not get their chance in 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 big films because the monies which are involved especially i remember not met long back if you had to make a film there used to be you know you used to think that a film can be made in so much money but there used to be this pna cost and different cost and other cost and then you know so many things which used to get involved at very high budgets almost as much as the budget of a film uh and um, so you know i mean you can't blame the producers they had to think about the money that they're putting in but with these platforms what has happened is that a uh, risk risk factor has increased people people can take risk people can think of um doing things with newcomers uh, and with that what we are seeing is a lot of talent coming you know there there's so much talent which has come uh, which i i i have said this before it's like the ipl in cricket is like ott in media it's like you know you seeing suddenly gali ka ladka is hitting sixes so that is one good thing which has come out of it very good thing and it's also blurring the line between jo tv film tv film ki baat hoti thi na mujhe this that was the line it's blurring so which is also a good thing because by the end of the day it's the content which is supposed to speak rather right. than okay so since we know like uh, we have seen your inside we like basically you are new on insta because as of now to it is already new popularity but day by day to ho jayegi but you have promoted ali and jasmine song so i want to know your reaction for their song their chemistry and what do you have to say I think it's a great song. They've done a very good job. Um, uh, Ali and Jasmine. I think this is their second song, right? This is this mm. is the second time. I promoted their first song also, uh, which was there, but probably that time nobody was interested. But yeah, um, it's 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 a great song. Both the songs are doing very well. They are enjoying their period after. I mean, there's a lot of success which most of them have gotten. That's good. So good. They enjoy their time. They they're happy. And like, what do you have to say about the chemistry? It's great. Don't don't you think it's great? Of course. Yeah. Fans are crazy great. for them. Yeah. So basically, which song you like personally like the first one, Tony Kakkar one, or the second one? I like both. Yeah. I can't I can't say which one. I like. Both are very good. I don't know. I haven't checked which has got more hits or something, but. This one, but they're very different songs. Honestly, they're very different songs. This is very emotional, and that's very Tony Kakkar, and this is very, you know, like I don't know how I, I forgot how I was just listening to. It. In fact, some time back, somebody had put up something on Instagram. But yeah, it, it, they're, they're they're different songs. They're good songs. They perform. I mean, in this, I think they perform more in this this new song. They perform yeah. much more than mm-hmm. the previous song. Yeah, the emotion and that's like part of it. So it's good. Yeah. And apart from that, when can we see you? Like any upcoming music singles? Like, are you interested in those? I, like, apart from OTD? I don't. I don't mind anything. See, um, after this show, what I've realized is that, um, काम करना चाहिए. You know, you should do work. <laughs> If you are good, you will just get. You will just get noticed very easily, and you will people will like you, and they will, you know, work with you and. But you should do as much work as you can, and that's very important. Okay, and what about reality shows? Like, since we have seen Ali, God, like his journey was amazing. So, no, no reality like, shows. No, no, no. no, no, no so, Big Boss, Khatro ke Khiladi, we will. Ah, Khatro ke Khiladi seems interesting. I don't know about that one. Isn't that you have to do tasks and all mm-hmm. that? So that's my alley, but not these the reality reality shows. I don't know if I'll be able to survive there even for a day. Okay. Probably not too soon. All right. And apart from that, Aslan, there there was also rumor. I would love to know, like, what is the story behind it? There were news that you know you and Suzanna dating. What is your take when you heard such kind of rumors? So, like, does does you you get pissed off or what is your reaction? What do you have to say for those things? See, I don't know about. things in particular but i have realized one thing once you keep working here and keep moving forward is that people are going to talk it's it's going to happen you go out for dinner with someone tomorrow they'll say you're dating that person to you do something with someone they'll say so i just take it with a pinch of salt i don't bother so much with this and um, it's fine 
I, you, the more importance you give, the more you get. So I don't want to even talk about it because you know it's, okay. it's yeah. more was personal matters, and secondly, it's you should everybody should think before they say anything. Mm-hmm. I okay, come from and- that school of thought mm-hmm. at least. All right. And apart from that, uh, since we know COVID ka second wave is going on, and we recently today only you have to took the vaccination. So what do you have to say about? Yeah, yeah. I just I'm just coming back from there. In fact, I'm wearing the same clothes that I was wearing. Uh, um, um, nothing. It's a good thing. Everybody should take vaccine, uh, and uh, everybody should um, um, and, and please stop bothering about which brand of vaccine you're getting. especially the people from the age of 18 to 45 it doesn't matter you should just take your jab and you know uh, even if it's working 80% 85% 90% whatever percent it's at least working you know <laughs> it's better than 0% so just take it and um, the more people get vaccinated the 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 spread is going to stop as much my mother uh, recently got positive with covid and luckily she had taken both her vaccination and touch would touch would she had a uh, she had a easy run with it otherwise you know you never know it can go to any extent i have seen with my friends my people it, it, it can just go anywhere so please take your jab i did i mean somebody didn't take covid shield take covax and just take whatever you getting just take it and be happy and please register yourself okay so during this the lockdown uh, like how you keep yourself positive and motivated See honestly I'll tell you one thing we we actually are the lucky ones who have um, who have to think about keeping ourselves positive and motivated you know uh, we are those lucky people who have that that um, that space to do that you know like mentally financially physically in every way so I honestly I'm just very thankful every day for whatever I have I don't think that I have to now get up and pump myself up just look what's happening outside there are two ways of looking outside like you look outside and get depressed with it you look outside and be thankful for it, that you are in a much better state so i am very thankful in whatever state i am and um, i couldn't have asked uh, for more kindness and more happiness problem sabko aa rahi hai everybody is dealing with it and you should just i mean i know people are in worst worst state so i there is no point of me to tell myself oh i have to be happy like i should be thankful nonetheless than anything else <laughs>